Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stephen Draws live feed. Now I'm just going to flip my camera around, wait for a few more people to get on and then we can uh, start the drawing. Let's see, yep there's already a few people on. It's uh, yeah alright, so I'm just gonna wait till about say 30 people get on and then I'll get on to basically how this video is going to work. Alright, so today I thought it would be a good idea to kind of do a sci-fi theme. Hey Taryn, hi everyone. Hello, you've been looking forward to this. Well, I've been looking forward to this today too. Today I thought I would do a sci-fi theme and uh, oh, you're currently drawing the Beatles. That's really cool. I might actually have to do that. It's a cool idea. By the way, new video coming up tomorrow. Uh, so be sure to check it out. I have all the footage done. It's almost ready to start. Yeah, all right. So let's start drawing. Hi, everyone. All right. Sci-fi theme. What are you guys thinking? I'm thinking like monsters, uh, spaceship monsters, UFO, aliens, stuff like that. Let's see. What should the head be? Because you always... Can you see me? Yes, I can see you, David Conrad. Well, I can see your comment. <laughs> All right. So, an alien head. The Enterprise from Star Trek. That's actually a pretty good idea. However, I don't think I've ever tried to draw that before. All right. Alien head it is. I'm going to move this closer. Of course, I'm going to start with a pencil. And, uh... Like this. There we go. And it's got to have... Ooh. Where did I put my glove? Oops. I'm already making a mess, and it's just the beginning of this live feed. All right. Yep, alien head it is. Sorry, I started a bit late today, guys. I had a... Well, I had to postpone it for... Because I kind of couldn't do it right then. But I'm on now. And that's all that matters, kind of. Something is amiss on your notification. Oh, yeah, YouTube's been kind of acting weird. Like, no one's getting notified when I act, uh, put up a video. Like, a lot of people were not getting notified. Uh, you guys said alien head. Does that include the eyes and the nose? Or, and the mouth? Or what are you guys thinking? Is there a specific mouth, nose, eyes you guys think I should do? What are you guys thinking? Just the eyes? I can do the eyes. Just the alien eyes. Big alien eyes. All right, I'll do that. And you guys want a nose, no nose, mouth, anything like that? Oh yeah, I definitely have to have a mouth. It looks like Spider-Man without one. He's not Spider-Man. Well, it doesn't really look that much like Spider-Man. Yeah, all right, I'll add antennae. I'll give him a little mouth. Give him a little... Wait, wait, wait. Space helmet. What do you guys think? Should he have a space helmet? What do you guys think? I think it'd be cool to make him... In space? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm getting... Yeses. So I'll take that. I'll give him like a weird... 
Oh, thank you very much, Matthew. And he said, uh, daily Saturday donation. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, uh, today I forgot. Well, I didn't forget. I couldn't put up the live feed any earlier, sadly. But this is as good as a time as it can be. And I have a reasonable about amount of people on so far, and it's been, what, three minutes? Yeah, that works. I'm happy. Oh, yeah, by the way, thank you, everyone, for being here. I'll give him a little antenna. I said I would draw the antennae. But on the space helmet... Space suit, or what are you guys thinking? What should I draw? Actually, I gotta fix his eyes just a little bit. All right, let's see. Oh, in a flying spaceship. I can do that. Uh, astronaut suit. All right, hold on. I'll, um... Add some more. You have better lines here. You got a little space helmet. Whoops. Spaceship body. Yeah, I can do a spaceship body. Well, if I do only a normal alien, that won't be very interesting. Well, I mean, it could be interesting, but won't make a very long video. Hi from Queensland, Australia. How are you all doing over there? Well, I'm doing pretty good. I am uh, at least one cyborg arm. That's a good idea. I did not have a particular place I was driving to, so don't worry. But I did actually get to drive on a dirt road and learn how to drive a bit today, and that was a lot of fun. So I'm doing really good. Well, I already know how to drive a motorcycle, but I don't normally drive cars, so it's like my second time ever dri drive <clears throat> driving. Man, I stuttered a lot there. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Mark Malin. Yeah, don't forget to hit a thumbs up if you like, and... Uh, yeah. Which car do you drive? Well, I drove my mom's Volvo, which is uh, one of the world's safest cars, or was one of the world's safest cars. It's a really safe car. And uh, yeah, the roads were empty, so I didn't have to worry too much, but I think I got it pretty good. And oh, bye, Greta. I think. Oh, I didn't mean to offend you. Well. Uh, I guess, yeah, spaceship body. Oh, wait, maybe like a cyborg body. What do you think? Oh, XC90. Yeah, not a car. It's a SUV. All right, what do you guys think? Should I give him like a cyborg body? Flux capacitor. I've never tried to draw that before. Well, I mean... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ghostbusters. What do you guys think? Ghostbusters suit with a cyborg arm. I want to do that. <laughs> Ghostbusters theme song. And he'll have like a little... What's it called? Proton pack, I think. Like that. Oh, like the Back to the Future car flux capacitor. All right. 
I don't know how I would incorporate that into here, but I could try. And you guys said like a cyborg arm. So I will do that for sure, because I think robot arms are cool. And I did, um, I can tell you guys what my video is going to be kind of about right now, because it's going to be up tomorrow. And it took me two days straight of just trying to empty. Well, what I did, I tried to, without using it for anything else, I got a brand new pen and I tried to empty it completely on the drawings that I was doing. And I thought that was going to be easy, but it actually was surprisingly difficult. Excuse me. And, uh, yeah, well, I did it and it turned out really cool. And I have two really cool drawings that I'm actually really proud of because it's a ballpoint pen. Oh, thank you very much, David Conrad. For supplies, saving for your MC. Thank you very much, David. That's super, super helpful. Now I'm going to be able to actually... I do need a new pad of paper. And the paper I'm using was... Actually, yeah. That really helps a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's finish with the robot arm. I did a pretty robot themed drawing so you'd think I know what I'm doing but I don't oh should he have like a rocket pack like a rocket booster like a lit up piece sign without the circle oh okay I'm making him have a rocket like body like a tin body, like this. I can give you a jetpack. Oh, thank you very much, Mark, for some more art supplies. Keep up the great work. You guys are crazy. I've only, I'm 10 minutes into a live feed. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's, <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you very much. And maybe another robot arm so it matches, because I think that's cool. And how about, well, yeah, I can do rocket pants or something. What do you guys think? What kind of pants should this guy be wearing? I haven't come up with any, oh, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Flux capacitor, no circle, but it's a peace sign, so it would be like this. Hold on. There's three lines. I'm going to draw a peace sign and then fill it in. Get rid of the circle and everything. Like this. Doot, doot, doot. Doot. I think just without the middle part, right? Maybe. I really hope I'm not messing this up too much. And without the circle around it. Is that kind of what you guys had in mind? My mom says she's moderating. All right, is that right? Does that look right to you guys? Let's see. Oh, okay. Thank you very much, Lisa. It's okay. I'm just going to cry about it later. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, all right. Looks good. Cool. All right. I'll make it look like a belt then. And... He's made of metal, so I should make his arms look like they're kind of made of metal. I don't know. Let's see. I like your drawing. Looking good. Thank you very much. Oh, Mo, you don't have to worry. You're not that loud. I didn't say you weren't loud, though. 
I'm kidding. Thank you for moderating my video. You don't have to worry. And let's see. What should I do next? What should be here? Because I'm going to finish the arm later. It might be something completely different. What should be... Should I draw like a Ghostbusters emblem on him? On his jacket? Holding a ray gun. All right. And... Yeah, I can definitely do that. I'll make his arm pointing down and into the side again then. Yeah, that's my mom's teacher voice. I'll give him like a... What kind of necklace do you think he should be wearing? Because it's got to be kind of sci-fi. Oh, thank you very much, Lady Cat Singer. Keep up the amazing work. Really love your art. And I also... And Jim Jackson, thank you very much. You guys are absolutely insane. Thank you very much. I am having an even better day. Now I can actually get some pretty cool art supplies. Maybe I can... Well, I have an idea in my head. I have a cool video idea now. So you guys actually really helped me out. Thank you very much. Rapper necklace. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Thank you very much. And I'm going to make him holding the ray gun up like here. I'm going to do this one in ink for sure. Because it'll look better that way. Like that. And... Very good. You're getting so much support for your art. Yes, I am. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. I did not mean to yell yes. If you need any material suggestion, let me know. Well, actually, that'd be pretty cool. Do you have anything in mind that you'd like to share? Because, like, I'm all ears. I, I'll, just, I'll do any kind of challenge you have for me. Any advice for your work? Well... For one, I know I uh, I want to come up with a cool video idea. I have one in mind, but like, do you have any i Do you guys have any ideas of something you would like to see in my videos? And I'll make him have like his robo hand, like this. Maybe wearing gloves. Sure, I can give him gloves. holding his little ray gun oh it's kind of looks like bubbly that's what most of them look like well that alien oh yeah, yeah you're right i should extend the antennae i guess he's about maybe he's a friendly alien you know his name is mark not People named Mark, I'm sorry, I don't actually think you're an alien or anything. I just think that's kind of a funny name to give an alien. Let's see. I like to see one paint uh, with a mixture of flower, water, and food coloring. So, that's actually pretty cool. I've never heard of that before. Is that like, um... Does it make like a special paint? I've never really tried it before. I guess, yeah, that would be a pretty cool idea. I was going to do a cooking one, but uh, did not turn out. Let's see. I'd be curious to see what you come up with as an advertising pictures for Curiosity, Inc. Spaghetti. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Spaghetti art on canvas. Oh, I should do that. <laughs> Mark should be spelled M-A-C-H. Holding a cookbook to serve man. That's why he's smiling. All right. Human cookbook. That's smart. A little bit scary, but it's smart. So I'll add that. He's got his ray gun. He's got to have the thing pointing up. Not like that. These are the sights. Since he's got, like, his robo hands... 
Let's see. Come in. Oh, like that. Cool. <laughs> so far, we got a cool looking alien today. Very cool. Oh, I forgot. What was the emblem on his shirt supposed to say? I'm so sorry if you guys commented and I forgot. My bad. Oops. Uh, I'm going to erase in here. What should I do? I definitely... Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. Have your mom make the spaghetti and you make art. Yeah, I can do that. I saw people actually making spaghetti art. It was uh, pretty interesting. I, it looked really time consuming. And like, I did not mean to use consuming in an ironic way, but. Ooh, hold on. I think. All right, I'm gonna read your comment. Mr. Black. Uh, Steve wants is way too young to know what to serve man actually means. Way before his time and there are no reruns. Oh, is that like a Star Trek thing maybe? I don't know. I actually do not know what that means, so feel free to tell me in the comments. I'm very curious to now know what to serve man means. Let's see. Hi from Texas, you're very talented. Well, thank you very much. And uh, I am putting up a video tomorrow, hopefully soon. And he's got his, and what else should he be holding? Like, uh, he's gotta be holding something else. Oh, the Twilight Zone. Let's see. You on board with the spaghetti art, Mom? It's up to you. Oop, it's got an Instagram notification. Almost closed the thing. Memory erasers from... Oh, Men in Black. That's a cool idea, actually. Maybe I can do like a... Wait, he could be holding like a... What else is futury and spacey and they used to... What about, like, the Star Trek phones? Like, the little... Like, where they talk to, like, the guys on the ship and then they have, like, the flip phone thing going on. Have you ever done block prints... <clears throat> Excuse me. Have you ever done block prints with ink? This can be done with potatoes and so in the kitchen video right here. That's a really cool idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laser beam. I'll give him a laser beam. Oh, lightsaber. That's what we need. A lightsaber. Uh, that's a... Uh... Oh, will I have to erase the ray gun? Hopefully not. I had a little reference next to me, but uh, it got reclaimed by my brother because I forgot I sold it to him. I had a... Uh... Uh, plastic LED lightsaber. Not plastic. It was like fiberglass, but it was like super realistic. Yeah, no wonder. All right, that's pretty close to a lightsaber right there. Yeah, he's a deck now. You don't want to get in a fight with this guy. He's an uh, alien Jedi with a ray gun. All right. Yeah, he is well armed. Not literally though, he doesn't have real arms. He's got robo arms. Yeah, all right. Let's see. You sold it to your brother? Yeah, well, I sold it to him cheap-ish, but I'm an entrepreneur. And he really wanted the lightsaber a while ago. And I was like, I really want paper. Well, not paper. I wanted something like food. I don't remember, but I made him buy it off of me. And he agreed, so... I mean... That's kind of fair. Ish. 
And let's see. What did my mom say? I'm going to be rich by the end of puberty. What do you mean? May the fourth be with you. Do you think they chose that because, like, the, maybe they heard someone say, like, may the force be with you, but they had, like, a really big lisp. And they're like, that's a cool idea for a holiday. What was he going to have on his shirt? I'll draw it later. He's got to have rocket pants for sure. He's got to be made of a rocket. There's a single rocket engine oh hold on this would extend more out pay a quarter for every voice change yeah i mean <laughs> howdy folks from uh medic aided well howdy thanks for thank you everyone for being here by the way again it means a a lot. I had a very good day, and you guys are making my day even better. Let's see. I am going to... They have, like, fuel injection things here, I think. <clears throat> I don't know what kind of rocket this is, but this is the one I drew in my video that's going to be coming out soon so you know check it out if you want to and i'll have like a pipe going up here and coming out here and going into like oh my voice changed again <clears throat> That's not changed, it cracked. I said changed because I read that in the comments. What the heck? And it cracked again while I was being sarcastic. That is amazing. I'm going to redraw his arms. I'm not going to add the pipe because even though I want to, it's probably not going to work. Make sure you like the video, everyone. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like the video. It actually helps because YouTube is weird. And if you like the video, it actually helps the channel a lot. <laughs> My dad's voice still cracks, too. Yeah, a little bit. Not as much as mine. I'm still the voice crack king. And then like this. I will. Should I add flames? Yes, probably I should add it. Flames. He's got his little rocket. Rocket uh, body. Should I give him legs? <laughs> Not legs. Fire. I don't know why I said legs. Probably because I'm on a live feed. I seem to say the most dumb things. When I'm trying to act, well, not dumb. Well, I'm fine with that, though. <laughs> Let's see. What should I do? Oh, I'm going to read what Matthew said. Don't know if you knew this, but uh, I'll tell you Stephen is on Instagram. Oh, thank you very much. I am on Instagram. Yeah, all right. I'll give him flames. Since it's really hot, the flames will just burn straight down. Like this. Now he's got jetpack body. Well, I'm glad to see that this is calming for you guys. Even though I'm drawing possibly one of the weirdest. No, I'm lying. This is not the weirdest. Here, just look at my wall real quick. I got every single doodle Saturday on here. Plus, not a doodle Saturday, but that's. That's fine. You can check out the videos. 
the the weirdest one is probably Gabby Gadget over there. That was an interesting one. I don't say dumb stuff. Are you sure? Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that you don't think I say dumb stuff. What should I add? Oh, wait. That's right. This whole thing is like all wires here. The little ends. There. Now he's got a rocket body. The moon in the background. That is a very good idea. Wait, what about... Yeah, well, I mean, the moon is probably a lot easier to draw than... Oh, well, it makes more sense to draw than Mars, because Mars is just a red circle. Kind of. It would just look like the moon anyway. Maybe I'll make him on the moon. Oh, let's see. Uh, wall of images are ready for gallery showing. Are you sure? This is like my... <laughs> I think these should go in a gallery. They might not let me back in. They're cool, though, except that one. That one's actually kind of cool. I'm happy with that. But, like... <laughs> but yeah, it's... Uh, today in Canada, well, I mean, where I am, Edmonton. It's uh really warm. Been very warm. And I don't know why, but it was like a very nice day just to sit outside. Cool. Uh make a cool t-shirt design. I mean, yeah, maybe I could like collage all of these together and make a t-shirt that has like yeah, I'll figure it out. I'm going to add the moon in the background here. I'm not going to color in this part, obviously. I don't have that much ink. A proton pack and a phone booth. Well, he's already got his hands full, so it might not be clear what the proton pack is, but I'll definitely add the Doctor Who phone booth. Floating around in space. I'll make a guy peeking out looking all... Do you, do you draw people or outside stuff? I actually do. I've... I only kept one, one of them. I do draw people, but this is like the only one I kept on the wall. Can't really see it, but I drew a guy. I was just a, my first time drawing a face. I can do it really detailed like I do my animals, but... It's a lot more time consuming to try to get it to look smooth. How about adding a robot pet next to him? All right, I'll add a robo pet next to him. First, I need to get the moon done, though. Get the... Oops. And get the little... Surface of the moon... Not perfect. It's covered in little asteroids. I gotta draw all those little, well, not little. This, if he's that far away from the moon and you can see them, that would have been huge. Uh, yeah. And now, of course, I can add little other blemishes and stuff on here. And I'll give him a little robo dog. Wait, a dog or a cat? What kind of robot pet are we talking about? Because that would be kind of cool. Oh, like a pet space rope, like snail. How about like a snail kind of alien looking thing? Alien pet. All right, I'll add an alien pet. He can breathe in space. So 
So we'll have his eyes on there. Maybe some rocks. All right, I can add some like asteroids. I'll do that as soon as I finish my space, space buddy. Kind of like a slime thing. Works for me though, it's still, I can make it work, kind of. Make these eye parts bigger. Use my electric eraser. Oh, I ran out of eraserness. Eraserness? That's new. Eraser, and I don't want to grab it, so I guess I can do that. That works almost as good. There, and now I'll just add some. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see what you guys are saying. Chewy's cute little face's expression. He kind of just has a flat line like a Muppet. Chewy's like a, a living Muppet. He's got a normal tongue, even though he's an alien. Then I okay. can't wait, 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 let's see. Good training in drawing people and uh is to challenge you oh wait, wait wait let's see. Good training in drawing people is to challenge yourself, trying to get the person right in as little lines as possible. Yeah, that is a good idea. I will. I mean I've drawn a really realistic person before. But I never keep them because even though it looks like a person, it doesn't look like the person I'm trying to draw. I should keep them. I only kept one, and that was my first attempt of ever doing a, a face. I kept it, though. On the wall. I did that at the very beginning of my YouTube thing. Channel. That's the word I was looking for. All right, so... Comic books are in my future. I mean... I could do comic books. Hopefully I get like a, I wanna do street art. I think that'd be really cool. Keep them so I can see my progression in my art. That is a good idea. Depending on how it turns out, I will avoid keeping something because it, it kinda just makes me feel bad when I look at it. Like if I really mess up on a drawing that I spent a really long time on, and I can't fix it, I decide not to keep it because, even though I should, I decide not to keep it because it just kind of makes me less encouraged to do more art. Which is bad. Another voice crack. How many is that? Like 10,000? This, this live feed? He's got his little alien buddy. What else should be there? No, 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 I would never just tag a neighborhood. I would make sure there's, uh, I'm allowed to be painting what I'm painting, but I really like murals and stuff. Murals and graffiti? Yeah, stuff like that. Legal graffiti, of course. I would never wreck someone's wall, or paint on someone's wall without their permission because that's just mean. I think I want to do like a, Maybe date the pictures like the truck. Like, oh, let's see. Uh, date the pictures. Banksy in the making, hopefully. Except Banksy never revealed his identity. Which is cool, but like, not very personable. Still like a legend, though. Let's see. Uh, private beach nearby that lets artists decorate the seawalls. My daughter's friend is currently doing it now. That is awesome. Oh, paint rocks and put them around town. That's a good idea. Maybe I can do like a mosaic kind of thing where put all together, I can have like a really detailed like tiger or something. 
when it's taken apart, it just looks like a bunch of pieces of a detailed tiger. Do you want to be a legend? Well, I hope to make a difference in the art world. I hope to be recognized in, like, at least a little bit. And, like, so I can inspire other people to do art. My mission right now is just kind of, kind of in, like... I hope to make people more creative, like to do what they like. Because right now, I'm really lucky because I made, this is not really, I don't even consider it as a job, but kind of is my job to make art and hopefully inspire other people on this website. But that's kind of my dream job. Let's see. Take pictures of each piece of art you do. Oh, I do. It's on my Instagram, actually. So if you're interested in uh, seeing sneak peeks of my art, you can check it out there at uh, Stephen Draws. It's uh, S-T-E-P-H-E-N Draws with a Z, all smushed together. And I also sell a lot of my art. Like, I am very... I'm open to negotiation. And I just really like doing commissions for people and stuff. Let's see here. This is what we have so far. He's got his rocket booster body. Uh, he's got the, I believe, what's that called again? I forget. He's got his robot arms, ray gun, lightsaber. He's an alien with a space helmet. I think that's really cool. Needs a UFO. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. Make him. I'll make the UFO in the background. Oops. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the phone booth. You're right. Sorry. I will add... The phone. Maybe I'll make the UFO picking up the phone booth. Not really following much of a Doctor Who theme if it's being picked up by an alien space. Well, maybe. I, yeah, actually, it does. But. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to make it like beaming up. The Doctor Who phone booth. And he's got the, oops, that's too far out. Got the tractor beam, I think that's what it's called, right? And it's going to be picking up the phone booth. Kind of looks like a porta potty, I'm not gonna lie, but maybe if I write phone booth on it. Nope, I'm not gonna do that. That'll just make it way, way worse. And I don't remember if it came up any more than that, but this is the best I can remember it. It's been a while since I watched Doctor Who. He's got to have the sign up here. And it will, and it's going to say gibberish. But just pretend it says phone booth. Oh, yeah, police box on the front. That's not phone booth. It's a police box. Wait, is it a phone? I don't know. I don't really know how it works, but... That kind of looks like it. Light on top of the phone booth. You're right. Light on top of the phone booth. I don't remember what it looks like. Oh, no. It's like a dome light. Not a light bulb sticking off the top. 
It's a little bit big, but yeah, you can kind of see what it is. Phone booth equals porta potty. It's both. If you're, uh, well, to some people, it actually is both. Let's see. I'm going to maybe add a little bit thicker of lines like this. And he also needed a meteor, right? Is that right? It's bigger on the inside. Yes, it is. In the show, it is at least. <laughs> and uh, of course, I'm going to go over this again with the pencil. If you stayed from the beginning, thank you very much. And I have to tell you this now. I lied. I'm not doing this in pen. It's too much stuff. It's going to take too long. I'll make him have a little asteroid. It's a very cartoony asteroid, but you can kind of tell what it is. For a real asteroid, you just see a really bright ball. Use the pen later and post it on Instagram. Let's... What pen do you mean? Oh, like the pen I was using for, um... Yeah, it no longer... I can't tell you what I did. I explain it in my video. I may or may not snap it at the end in celebration. Uh, yeah, but you'll never know. Uh, it still had a tiny bit of ink left in it too, so it sprayed my paper just on the edge, but I fixed it. I made it look cool anyway. All right, so. I think this just about wraps it up. And, uh, I, yeah. Well, I'm going to turn off one of these lights because you can't really see a lot of detail. Is that any better? Well, first of all, my camera is not adjusting. It looks like I'm in a dark room with one light on, but I actually have all my lights on in the room. Except for the one light here. Yeah, an asteroid is when it's, uh, I thought it was called a meteor when it uh, goes through the Earth's atmosphere. A meteorite when it hits the Earth, and an asteroid when it's in space. Every week they get better and better. That's... Hopefully, what's happening? What's this guy saying? Give him a little speech bubble. It looks a little bit weird. I'm gonna erase the uneven parts. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just made that song up. It's called uh, The Eraser Song. There, let's see. What should he be saying? I come in peace and for your daughter. <laughs> Maybe I won't say that? I don't want to get in trouble from YouTube. That's my excuse when I see something that I don't know if is allowed. Let's see. The next draw theme should be, what do you guys think it should be before I finish? Oh, thank you very much. Uh... Katharina Von Dach. Dach? Here, uh, buy a new black Sharpie for inking. Inking is a part of the footwork we artists need and use. Oh, wait. Need to get used to. I actually. Yeah. Inking is very important. And you'll see my 
next video, I don't know if I could plug my video in anymore. In my next video, well, I guess I can. Uh, maybe, no, no, he won't be saying anything in English because he's not from Earth. He'll be saying something in a different language. In my next video, I will be doing a lot of inking. But thank you very much. Yeah, I actually did run out of my pen. Maybe I can get a new set of pens because I really did enjoy the last one. I'll make his little dog saying something in like alien gibberish. That's his little alien. And uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, 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 force lines. Well, I'm a little motion lines. There. Now it looks like it's actually going up. I'm going to erase that a bit, actually. There. And... What is barnyard theme? I don't think I know what that is. Oh, barnyard theme for the theme I asked before. I'm so weird. I'm sorry. A barnyard theme. That's actually a cool idea. Let's see. I don't know. I think the Ola idea is good, but it might come across as mildly racist. Because it would be implying that they're an alien or an illegal alien. And I don't know how that's going to go. <laughs> how about saying Stephen draws? Maybe I'll just make him saying, hold on. Howdy, y'all. He's a cowboy alien, but you you didn't know that yet until he said howdy, y'all. Or Texan. He's an alien from Texas. He's saying howdy. All right, so quick walkthrough of what we did here. I think, yeah, I have the tape with me finally. I actually came prepared, so I should stick it to the wall as soon as I'm done. You can see it being added to the wall of uh, Doodles, Doodle Saturday. So, Alien Head, he's an astronaut, and he has antenna coming off. It's a glass dome, and he has, like, a smile on his face because he's going to eat someone, I think. He's got two robot arms, uh, robo hands, lightsaber. He's got a ray gun, and he has, uh, the, what's it called? Uh, the reactor thing in the middle of, from Back to the Future he has a rocket booster body. It's a cute little alien pet. I actually quite like that. He's cute. Uh, Asteroid's about to hit the planet behind him. He's saying howdy, y'all, because he's Texan. Uh, Doctor Who um, police box being sucked up into an alien. Sorry, I just popped my knuckle. That's kind of gross. Uh, and yeah. Did I mention he's Texan? Oh, and then he's got to move the background. So, I'm going to grab some tape. Grab some tape, one-handed. This is a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. I only need one piece. And, uh... Stick it here. Hopefully I don't stick it to my desk. There we go. Oh, I forgot the apostrophe. I'll just add it after I stick it to the wall, even though that is forbidden. I'll stick it to the bottom of the Gabby Gabster poster here. Now, how about that? We have a new addition to my wall of doodles. And I will add the apostrophe with a pencil that I put behind me out of my reach for some reason. And there we go. His name? I forgot his name. His name. Uh, let's see. How about Steven? Nah. I don't give myself credit for owning a 
awesome LED lightsaber. Mark. Oh, yeah, his name was Mark. I forgot. I did name him. His name was Mark. Oh, I forgot to sign it, too. Man, I'm just all over the place today, aren't I? Oh, and his name should be Cooper Cosmos. That's a good idea. Good idea. Steven Gross. Doop, 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 doop. Now I signed it. His name is, what did you say? Cooper Cosmos. Uh, apostrophe in the wrong place. It goes, I did. Oh, wait, are you sure it should go after the A? Because it's for you all, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's just after the Y. I don't know. Flux Capacitor from Back to the Future. Thank you very much. And his name is Cooper Cosmos or Mark. What do you guys think between those two? Mark or Cooper Cosmos? Y'all. Oh, I see. I'm right? Did I get it right? It's y'all. All right, I got it. Cooper Cosmos, Mark. Oh, yeah, it was. M-A-C-H, Mac. I think that's Mac, right? Cosmos, Cosmos, Cosmos. All right, I guess his name. Well, I don't guess. His name is Cooper Cosmos. And he... Looking kind of... Kind of cool, actually. I think I especially like his pet alien. <laughs> and his uh, rocket body. All right. Well, actually, that is the end of my live feed. So before I go, I'm going to ask you guys just one more time. Uh, oh, actually, show my face. What do you guys want to see in the next video? And I'm the lighting is absolutely amazing. Is that better? Yeah, it's a little bit better makes me look shiny it's not even that bright maybe I'm shiny all right so what would you guys like to see in the next video oh the lighting is so messed up there we go let's see uh not just for the live feed but for a video after I post the one I'm doing right now so like um I did I emptied a com I completely emptied my pen on uh two very actually I'm really proud of these drawings with a ballpoint pen and they look like I did it not with a ballpoint pen. I don't know, what do you guys think? Uh Let's see. Ocean theme. I'm not going to do anything Corona related because it's too sensitive of a topic to use. So I think I actually like the ocean idea. I'm going to do a poll in the... I'll, yeah, I'll do a poll for the themes underneath. Not underneath. You'll see it as a post. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to do that. And the uh, I, I like ocean theme. That's going to be in there for sure. I'm going to give it some thought and... Uh, until next time, thank you guys all for joining, by the way. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, until next time. Bye.